So what I'm hoping to do this week, as long as they arrive, is to spend some time dealing with microorganisms. And we're going to have live cultures, and we're going to be able to look at those cultures, excuse me, under the microscope. So first, a little bit about a microscope. This kind of di this diagram shows you the major parts of the microscope. You can see at the top is the eyepiece, or the ocular lens. There's the body tube that uh, the light shines through. And then the nose piece where there's different objectives that gives you the different magnifications on the, mag on the microscope. The stage is the place where you place the slide and they're held in, the slide's held in place by the clips. The uh, diaphragm is the opening that allows light to come up through the bottom. And then you have two adjustment knobs. The coarse adjustment knob kind of gets you sort of in the right area. Then the fine tune one really helps you dial in on that object that you're looking at. Then there's a light source and a base. And so we'll have microscopes for you in class, and we'll, I'll give you a little bit more tutorial, but at least you kind of know the parts as we're heading into the, the activity on Thursday. We will be using live organisms, and so you'll have a slide. You can see those on the left-hand side there. And then using a pipette or a medicine dropper, you'll have a jar like those down below that will have the organisms in them, and you'll take a drop of the water, and the organisms will be inside that water, and you're going to place it on top of the slide. Sometimes we want to have what we call a cover slip on top of the slide to keep things from moving around on us, and you can just actually use a second slide. Put that right on top, and that serves as a nice cover slip. So you can see the procedure here. You're going to draw up some of the water solution, put it on the slide, and the organisms are in that. And then in the picture down below, you can see that we'll put that on the stage underneath the clips and then begin with the highest objective and begin to take a look at that organism. And then as we get it focused at the higher um, magnification, we can actually, or the lowest one, and then we can actually begin to take a look at it at higher magnifications as well. So in your notebooks, what I'll expect you to do is draw a sketch of what you see in the microscope. You can also begin to look up the organism in some reference books that I'll have for you on Thursday. And you'll be able to draw a little bit more detailed diagram. And you'll know what the organism is because the jars themselves are actually labeled. We'll be using several reference keys in class. And we'll talk a little bit about the organisms um, after we have identified them. Then we're going to begin to group them, talk a little bit about classification, but that'll be another lesson for another day. So I hope that uh, kind of explains what we're going to do this week, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Thanks.